Welcome back to Revitalize Avenue, where we're dedicated to guiding you on a journey towards a healthier mind and body. In today's video, we've got a topic that's truly the building block of a healthy lifestyle, protein. It's not just for bodybuilders or athletes, it's something everyone should pay attention to. So, if you're wondering about the importance of protein in your diet, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. Before we get into the nitty-gritty details, let's start with the basics. What exactly is protein? Well, it's one of the three macronutrients our body needs, along with carbs and fats. But what sets protein apart is its incredible versatility and importance. Let's get started. 1. Muscle growth and repair. Protein is essential for the growth and repair of skeletal muscle tissue. When you engage in activities that strain or damage your muscles, such as weightlifting or intense exercise, small tears occur in the muscle fibers. Consuming protein-rich foods or supplements provides the necessary amino acids, the building blocks of protein, which are used to repair and rebuild these muscle fibers. This process not only helps in recovery but also promotes muscle growth and strength. 2. Enzyme function. Enzymes are biological catalysts that facilitate chemical reactions in the body, including those involved in digestion, metabolism, and detoxification. Enzymes are predominantly composed of proteins, and without them, these essential processes would occur at a significantly slower rate, leading to various health issues. 3. Hormone production. Hormones are signaling molecules that regulate various physiological processes. Insulin, for instance, is a protein hormone that regulates blood sugar levels by facilitating the uptake of glucose into cells. Growth hormones, also proteins, play a crucial role in childhood growth and tissue repair throughout life. 4. Immune system support. Antibodies, also known as immunoglobulins, are proteins produced by the immune system in response to the presence of antigens, foreign substances like pathogens. Antibodies bind to and neutralize these antigens, helping to protect the body from infections. Without an adequate supply of protein, your immune system may not function optimally. 5. Transport and storage. Hemoglobin, a protein found in red blood cells, carries oxygen from the lungs to cells throughout the body and returns carbon dioxide to the lungs for exhalation. Myoglobin, found in muscles, stores oxygen for muscle contractions. Ferritin, another protein, helps store and release iron, which is vital for oxygen transport and various metabolic processes. 6. Structural support. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the human body and provides structural support to tissues such as skin, tendons, ligaments, and bones. Elastin, another protein, gives tissues their elasticity, allowing them to stretch and return to their original shape. 7. Energy source. While carbohydrates and fats are the primary sources of energy, when the body's carbohydrate and fat stores are insufficient, proteins can be broken down into amino acids and converted into glucose through a process called gluconeogenesis. However, the body prefers to use carbohydrates and fats for energy to preserve protein for its other essential functions. 8. Appetite regulation. Protein-rich foods have been shown to promote satiety and reduce appetite, which can be beneficial for weight management. When you consume protein, it triggers the release of hormones like leptin, which signals fullness to the brain, helping to control overeating. 9. Maintenance of fluid balance. Proteins play a role in maintaining the balance of fluids within cells and in the bloodstream. Albumin, a protein in the blood, helps regulate osmotic pressure, which is essential for fluid balance. This helps prevent the accumulation of excess fluid in tissues. 10. Wound healing. Protein is vital for the healing of wounds and injuries. During the healing process, the body requires additional protein to repair damaged tissues, produce new cells, and strengthen the immune response to prevent infection. There are plenty of natural sources of protein that you can find at home or easily incorporate into your diet. Here are some common options. 1. Lean meats. 
Chicken breast, turkey, and lean cuts of beef or pork are high in protein. Grilling, baking, or broiling these meats can provide a healthy protein source. 2. Fish. Salmon, tuna, trout, and other fatty fish are not only rich in protein but also provide essential omega-3 fatty acids. Baking or grilling fish is a nutritious way to prepare them. 3. Dairy products. Milk, yogurt, and cheese are good sources of protein, especially Greek yogurt, which is known for its high protein content. 4. Plant-based proteins. If you're vegetarian or looking to reduce meat consumption, there are several plant-based protein sources. Legumes, beans, e.g., black beans, kidney beans, chickpeas, lentils, and peas are rich in protein and can be used in soups, salads, or as a meat substitute in dishes like chili or veggie burgers. Tofu and tempeh. These soy-based products are versatile and can be used in stir-fries, sandwiches, or as a meat substitute in various recipes. Nuts and seeds. Almonds, peanuts, chia seeds, and hemp seeds are examples of protein-rich options. They can be added to yogurt, oatmeal, or salads. Whole grains. Quinoa, bulgur, and farro are whole grains that provide a moderate amount of protein. They can be used as a base for salads or side dishes. 5. Nut butters. Peanut butter, almond butter, and other nut butters are rich in protein and healthy fats. Spread them on whole grain bread or use them as a dip for fruits and vegetables. 6. Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is a dairy product that's high in protein and can be eaten on its own, mixed with fruits, or used in recipes like lasagna or stuffed pasta dishes. 7. Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt has a higher protein content compared to regular yogurt and can be enjoyed as a snack, breakfast, or as a base for smoothies. 8. Egg whites. If you're looking to increase protein intake while minimizing calories and fat, egg whites are a great option. They can be used in omelets, scrambled eggs, or baking. 9. Soy products. Besides tofu and tempeh, soy-based foods like edamame and soy milk are excellent sources of plant-based protein. Remember that a balanced diet is key, so try to include a variety of these protein sources in your meals to ensure you get a wide range of nutrients along with your protein intake. Also, consider your dietary preferences and any specific nutritional needs when choosing your protein sources. The recommended daily serving of protein can vary depending on several factors, including age, sex, activity level, and overall health goals. However, here are some general guidelines for daily protein intake. 1. Adults. Most adults require around 0.8 to 1.0 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day to meet basic nutritional needs. This means that a sedentary adult weighing 70 kilograms, 154 pounds, would typically need 56 to 70 grams of protein per day. 2. Athletes and active individuals. Those who engage in regular physical activity or strength training may require more protein to support muscle growth and repair. It's often recommended that athletes aim for a daily protein intake of 1.2 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. 3. Pregnant and breastfeeding women. During pregnancy and lactation, protein needs increase. Pregnant women may require an additional 10 to 20 grams of protein per day and breastfeeding women may need an extra 15 to 20 grams of protein daily. 4. Children and adolescents. Protein needs for children and teenagers vary with age and growth rate. As a general guideline, children and adolescents should aim for about 0.85 to 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. 5. Elderly individuals. Older adults may have slightly increased protein requirements to help maintain muscle mass and function. The recommended intake for elderly individuals is often similar to that of adults, but individual needs can vary. 6. Specific dietary goals. If you have specific dietary goals, such as weight loss or muscle gain, you may need to adjust your protein intake accordingly. 
High protein diets for weight loss, for example, may involve higher protein intake than the standard recommendations. In summary, protein is a multifunctional nutrient that supports various essential processes in the body, including growth, repair, and regulation of vital functions. A balanced diet that includes an adequate intake of protein from diverse sources is crucial for maintaining overall health and well-being. The recommended daily protein intake varies, but it's generally advised to aim for a balanced diet that meets your individual nutritional needs and activity level. Consulting with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian can provide personalized guidance on your protein requirements and dietary choices. Stay healthy, stay happy. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more positivity and informative content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.